In this video, we will learn how to construct a perpendicular bisector of any two points. And in order to construct a perpendicular bisector, we require three things, uh, a compass, a scale, and of course, a pencil. So you start off with your compass. And here we have two points, A and B, of which we need to construct a perpendicular bisector. So the first thing you do is you place the pointed side of your compass at point A. Now, you need to decide what the width of the compass should be. So in order to do that, you should keep in mind that the width of the compass should always be more than half the length of the line. Now that doesn't mean that you start measuring what the length of the line is. You can just take an approximate length. So here this length is definitely more than half the length of AB. So once you have that sorted out, you start by making an arc just like this one. And then you take the pencil on the opposite side of the line and you make another arc. There you go. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to place the pointed side of the compass at the other point which is B and repeat the exact same process that is make two arcs. Now one thing to keep in mind is that in the entire process the width of the compass should never change because if that happens then your perpendicular bisector will be absolutely incorrect. So there you go we have the two, perpend uh, the two arcs now the two pairs of arcs. The next thing you do is you take out your scale and you have to, the objective is to join these two points so that we have a straight line. So there you have it. This right here is how you draw a perpendicular bisector of two points. Now one thing to keep in mind is that all the points lying on the perpendicular bisector are equidistant from A and B. That means I can pick any point on the line that I've just made, the one in black, and all the points on this line, if we, if we were to measure their distance from point A and point B, we will see that their distance is equal. So if you want the region that is closer to A, that region is going to be on the left side of the perpendicular bisector. So all the points lying in this region will be closer to A than to B. And if you want the region that is closer to B, so that means that is going to be this region, the one on the right side, and all the points lying in this region are closer to B as compared to they are to A. So this is how you draw, this is how you construct a perpendicular bisector of any two given points. So that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.